So there are various techniques uh, for dorsal decompression and fixation. So it was just that um, one of the great players in spine surgery, at least in Germany, Harms, he, uh, he's really one of the early fixation experts. He already stated in the 80s that with the standard methods, the A-lift and the P-lift, there are such, some disadvantages. With the A-lift, everybody knows it. Um, there's potential vessel injury. It may be a, a two-stage surgery. In uh, May, there may be some other problems in the P-lift perhaps maybe a one-stage uh, surgery, but uh, to bring in the cages, you have to retract the dura with uh, some perhaps disadvantages, and he was thinking well, what to do better. And this is a comparison yeah, of how the techniques work. This, this is the PLIF, you know, very good, yeah? You can make it uh, from both sides uh, after a good decompression and bring in uh, small cages bilaterally. But he, his idea was, to prevent mobilization of the dura, to prevent uh, tearing of the um, dura. <coughs> and he developed this approach, which is after removal of the joint, you have a quite nice excess in the axilla of the nerve root and the dura that uh, you don't need any mobilization of the nerve root or the neural structures. This is a pliff you know very well. And this is a cage, which is a kind of banana-shaped cage, which is um, brought in <coughs> A bit around the corner. What you do, you make a standard uh, a pedicle screw uh, placement, there's no difference in it, and you may or already make a rod on one side because it's a one-sided approach to um, uh, make a slight distraction that might, might help um, in the surgery later. So we don't have an O-arm, it's not very popular in Germany because it's quite expensive and takes a lot of space. We have this uh, 3D uh, C-arm which can provide not exactly a CT scan quality, but it's quite good. And we're working with this system about 10 years and it's uh, adopted to the uh, Medtronic software. The uh, skin incision depends on the work, what you want to do. We, uh, you need a spine clamp and a neural navigation. And um, it's just about uh, pedicle screw placement. It's always about experience. So when I do something like this, I'm happy about the navigation, but I'm uh, sure you do it. <laughs> without, so it's always a matter of, of uh, patient safety and your personal experience. So I like to use a navigation for that, and it saves in general OR time, and it saves in our hands a lot of radiation times, because spine surgery is very intensive in the exposition of, of X-ray. So what you do uh, after the uh, placement of the pedicle screws, you may bring in a rod or not, it's, it, it depends on your at the beginning, it takes too much uh, space, but it may be possible. And you resect first the inferior, then the superior part of the, of the joint. And after you've done that, you have uh, exposed already the nerve root and the, the disc. If there's a, a stenosis uh, of the spinal canal, you then, of course, you can do just a decompression to both sides in that fashion uh, I showed it to you. But there are people who are just have a slight uh, instability without major decompression, and then this exposure is uh, good enough to remove the disc. You can make a disc um, a removal. You have to remove the end plates with curettes uh, with um, different angled forceps. These are these kind of curettes. So we, I think you get it from any company. It's just from their manual. And after you, re you remove the end plates, uh, you make a bit of distraction to bring in the cage. In general, we use some graft uh, from the iliac crest because especially later the, the ventral ossification is very important. And after you have brought in the spongiosa, then you can bring in the cage. And you can do it either with a rod instrumentation in distraction or you can use this instrument. And you bring in uh, this cage, uh, which uh, should uh, perfectly sit. And after you brought in this cage, which is in the middle or posterior part, idly. Then you put in some distraction so that you re-establish the lordosis and there's a good fitting of the cage. Yeah, and you can, uh, of course, use some um, additional um, spongiosa. It's up to you. And you can do this uh, T-lift with decompression, without decompression. You can make a laminectomy. You can uh, do a selective interact uh, decompression. And there are even uh, minimal invasive 
uh, variations of that. I think in uh, neurosurgery uh, India there had been a major publication on that uh, a couple of years ago where they did a mini T-lift or minimal invasive where you make, you, uh, where you make a um, percutaneous implantation of the screws and where you can make uh, for, with a mini incision the selective uh, interrogate decompression or there are also this X-lift uh, variations yeah, where you make it extreme lateral there are several variations of that. And the advantages are, it's a, anatomy is, is, you're used to it. And um, if you don't have to make a laminectomy, you d can do it on one side. Uh, it's really, you have a shorter OR time, less uh, exposure of um, all the bone in the neural structures. It's quite good. The only thing is, if you're not used to it, or if you are too reluctant, there may be some um, disadvantages for fusion, that means Perhaps you make from one side incomplete, little, incomplete disc removal. And uh, if you have a bilateral symptomatic, for example, you stenosis of the foramen, it may be inadequate uh, for the decompression. Yeah? What we did now uh, over, um, I would say, eight, nine years, and we are quite, uh, quite happy. So the only thing is, of course, there are contraindications, bilateral, uh, pain, if it's only minor uh, disc degeneration or if there's a, a, a kyphotic changes in the axis. So it's, you can't do this minimal or less invasive uh, procedure. You have to, to do a vertebral uh, removal or a cage or stuff like that. Yeah. But we make quite good experience with that. And that you can we use it always a lot for, for the uh, decides if it uh, has to be operated. And uh, even you can do a Tele variation in the uh, thoracic spine, uh, where you <coughs> may sacrifice a nerve root, which is possible, and especially in el elderly patients who are not suitable for an um, anterior approach, you can really uh, sacrifice one or two disc roots and make a vertebral uh, uh, disc replacement, or you can even make a, an expandable cage from the dorsolateral approach. This is possible, yeah. But the kind of technique is always the same. Thank you.